thank you very much. I'll just start sharing my screen now. And yeah, welcome to the last presentation of today. My name is Nora. I'm working uh, related to international student relations and I'm working at SRH University in North Rhine-Westphalia and I'm happy to give you a short overview about our university and the programs. Um, what I have brought for you today is just an overview about our campuses. Um, and then I'm going to present you two programs today, the Business Management Bachelor and the Supply Chain Management Master, and a short overview what we offer besides just the um, academic education, so to say. Um, just a short overview about our university. Um, as all universities attending today, we are also a University of Applied Sciences, which means we do have a really practice-oriented um, practice focus. We are together with a lot of other universities you may also heard about in Heidelberg and Berlin, uh, one institution in a big holding. Um, our university here in Northern Westphalia, which is, as you saw on the map, in the western part of Germany, is a small uh, university. We have around about 750 students in 12 different programs, where also uh, a lot of students um, studying in German programs. We have three locations, uh, around about 100 really experienced lecturers, different modes of studies, but mostly for international students, there are only the presence programs interesting, and we can call some corporations partners um, working with us. Um, as you see here, actually, I miss, oh no, yeah, here they are. I'm sorry, I thought they would immediately come up the pictures, uh, which they didn't. Um, so the first campus is our campus in the city of Hamm and Münster. Um, the cities are really close to each other. And uh, this is why we have a kind of a corporate campus um, idea here. As we already heard in one of the other presentations, cities with around about less than 200,000 inhabitants in Germany are already uh, yeah, evaluated at mid-sized cities. Um, and both cities are really have a really excellent connection to basically everywhere in Germany. Um, maybe some of you heard about Münster because it's a really popular uh, city for students in Germany. Um, they have a lot of uh, universities, not only ours, so it's a really um, nice city to actually live and study in. Both cities, the city of Hamm and Münster, um, are really green. They do have a lot of leisure opportunities because it's not just about studying, but also about living. As you see on the picture down in the left, the campus facilities are really modern. And what is great for you to know is that we are really specialized um, for international students. I just uh, randomly saw on the website that it says we have 6% um, of international students. And we just uh, lately calculated the numbers new. And actually, we have 40% right now of international students, which we're really happy about and proud. So um, basically, you can be sure to be in an international divide. Uh, environment with us. The other campus uh, which we have is in the city of Leverkusen, which we call the campus in Rhineland because it's in the area uh, Rhineland. Um, for those of you who may not heard of Leverkusen yet, um, they most probably heard of the cities of Cologne and Düsseldorf, which are um, really famous in Germany and to have a lot to offer. So you can uh, live in Cologne and Düsseldorf if you wish to, for example, and enjoy the life there and come to our really also modern campus in the city of Leverkusen. Also, what is great to know is that the countryside Bergisches Land, uh, which is really famous for that just beautiful nature, uh, is really close to, um, to reach. Also, an important point I didn't mention on the other slide, but what is sometimes really um, crucial for students to also maybe take on their decision, especially in the city of Hamm, we do have low cost of living, which is great um, because then you can spend more time uh, maybe on studying and not working part-time or more money on all the other things which are interesting. Um, I say I call it study programs and lots more because I'm just going to present two English programs but overall we have three English bachelor programs and two fully English master programs um, I would just recommend you to have a look at our website to check them out. Um, and then you can also find more details. Maybe there's another program which is interesting for you as well. Before I'm going to present the programs, I am happy to let you know that at our university, we do have a special uh, teaching feature, which we call the core principle. 
and it says it's or it stands for competence oriented research and education and what is special about it is that although we do have a semester structure so we do have uh, two intakes per year the uh, lectures are organized into five week weeks of blocks of studying so basically uh, you will have one topic or two topics uh, five weeks straight then you will have the examination and then another topics following which is also great because then you do not have like let's say six or five exams um, in the end and as the principle states um, the idea behind this is that um, as also the idea of applied sciences university is that it's not just about theory and a person standing in front of you talking one and a half hours straight about some yeah, some theoretical background it's about uh, gaining really like practical experiences and this is going to happen via uh, different um, yeah, styles of teaching different styles of examination for example not only exams but group projects case studies um, group presentations papers and so on and so on also um, it's it, it put a focus on the competencies which needs to be achieved in the actual and the modern job market because nowadays it's not just about knowing hard facts knowing theories it's about having competencies um, aside which is for example social skills intercultural competences some language skills method method methodological competences self competences and so on and so on and our idea is to kind of uh, put the focus alongside what competencies what soft skills what is called are needed in order to apply the hard knowledge which is gained um here once again just an uh, yeah, summary of what i just said and um, the idea with this teaching principle is that we put the uh, students in the absolute focus we do have small groups so um it's around about 50 to 20 students in every group so the teacher or the lecturers are really close to to each other and um, that is what it makes is really personal for the students to study with us so here's a lot of information about the business management um, as i know you will get the presentation afterwards and have a can have a detailed look in it also of course all information is available on the website and in some brochures and of course you can always contact us but nonetheless i want to give you um in short overview about our business management bachelor of science program it's one of the um yeah i call it most most famous of our programs because it's a really classic and fundamental program which basically um prepares you for for a really good career um we start at summer and winter semester we do not have any application deadline so basically you can be really spontaneously but we highly recommend to do not so because we uh, know the visa process, which are most of the international students are going to go through, does take a long time and also uh, preparing to come to Germany. So we highly recommend to not uh, extend that we do not have an application deadline. It's a full time study. You are legally allowed and, of course, able to work besides, um, but also it would not be possible to work full time. You can choose your study location, either uh, the campuses in Hamm and Münster or the campus in Rhineland. This maybe depends on your personal interests or where you love, uh, love to go. It's 180 uh, credit points, three years, so six semesters, and the tuition fee um, is 680 euro per month. At the beginning, there will be a one-time enrollment fee, which uh, depends on, on the high, it depends on if you're from the European Union or not. Um, additionally, the, um, our non-European Union students are asked to pay the year uh, either one year in advance or a semester in advance. But these are all details which um, I would love to discuss with you on a personal level, because financing is always a really personal um, topic where we are, of course, happy to help every student with um, individual uh, yeah, opportunities here. We also do offer uh, a scholarship for our international students, but, um, and it's really important for you guys to know, you can only apply if you're already a student with us, you would then get an additional funding, um, but just for you to, to have in mind. Um, as you see on your curriculum, you will get all the basic knowledge you will need to have when studying business management. Um, 
for example, you will have math, microeconomics, um, physical distribution, marketing and sales, one of the uh, most important parts um, when, when talking about business management. You will also have a glimpse on, uh, on law because it's important on, yeah, on how institutions and everything are are set in the environment, you will have a big focus on methods um, and also on accounting, human resources, finance and risk management, international business, economic policy. So as you see, you will basically have a broad overview um, about the classic business management. What is super great um, that this study program just uh, provides you with a really, really good basis to either directly start your job in Germany or wherever you want, or which like kinds of gives you really good uh, basis for when you want to do um, an additional master. As we know, and which is important, especially for, I guess, non-EU students, is always the entry requirements for, um, for bachelor programs. Um, what is special at our University North Rhine Westphalia is that we are able to get give you admission uh, with an internal entry exam, which does not necessarily require a so-called student, uh, student colleague, which is super great. Um, considering the case, you will have a local university entrance qualification, so a school degree which um, allows you to study in your home country, um, but would not be equivalent to German Abitur, so the uh, classical university entrance qualification. We could provide you an entry exam and depending on how good you pass this, you can get uh, admission. So this, we think, is a really, really great chance. And I would be happy to go more into detail um, if, if you are interested in it. Of course, the entry exam will be online because, um, yeah, it's, it's just easier. And, and we know that most persons are not in Germany yet. Um, besides that, we, of course, need a proof of English proficiency, mm, you know, the classic um, or the typical test, IELTS or TOEFL. And what we do expect is if students, um, or in this case, pupils, already had their school education or later the bachelor education in English language, we can then waive um, the official test, which is um, actually a great chance if students maybe has an old IELTS and are not able to make it on time before. This would lead me to the second program I would like to present to you today. It's the Supply Chain Management Chart, SCM. It's a Master of Science. Um, I would once again also start with a short overview, the, the most important facts. Um, we also start in summer and winter term and at both locations. Um, so wherever you wish to start, it's also full time and it has 120 um, ECTS, so it's two years. The tuition fee basically is the same as for the bachelor. So this is pretty easy uh, for you to have in mind. As you see in the curriculum, the SCM master does really focus, uh, as the name says, on the supply chain management. So um, we, on the one hand, for example, have fundamentals of international management to give you a broad idea um, on, on what management is, on how leadership is working, and so on and so on. Then it's going really into detail, for example, strategic levels in logistics. Um, it's about IT systems, IT architecture. Um, we also do have an SAP certificate, which you're doing inside your program. And um, yeah, I think it, it really makes sense if you go detailed into the uh, own modules, because just going into detail would just be too much uh, information, of course. What is great for you to know? We have an, uh, like in the curriculum, like German classes, you see it, uh, they will go until the end of the master program. So you will have additionally two years um, of, of German classes, which is great because we also recommend our students to learn at least a little German, which is just make life so much easier in Germany. But you can be sure that all the programs uh, which are conducted in English at our university, are of course, fully in English. The requirements for the uh, master program are, of course, a bachelor degree uh, with at least 180 credits. Um, and what 
we of course want to do is that it's in a related field which makes sense to put on a master in supply chain management on it. Most of our students do have a um, business management background so they come more from the business um, knowledge so to say and a lot of our students do have an engineering background so they come more from the um, yeah from from the technical part and now want to set up on their focus in supply chain management. Um, here is the same with the English proficiency. Um, you you need to prove your English skills at some point, uh, either via uh, the the usual tests, or this can of course also be waived if you study, for example, already in English. Um, now I would like to give you a short overview of what we think is really important for students when studying in Germany, besides the um, the practice. Um, because um, like coming abroad is always really, uh, yeah, a really exciting topic, we think. Um, since we do have a lot of international students and we are really small, we are really um, experienced with any visa related issues. We know um, that sometimes it's a really uh, complicated topic. There are a lot of preparations documents needed, not only in applying for the visa, also when uh, like, um, yeah, staying here in Germany and uh, extending the visa. So we are really, really happy to help with any questions um, regarding this. Also, always an important topic, uh, which leads to a lot of questions, is the health insurance, which is um, needed for students in Germany. What we also do have, we do have some accommodation opportunities, which is just a great option, because you can be sure to have a room even before arriving to Germany. Uh, just let us know if you, if you yeah, want any support, here, if you want us to, to organize a room for you, basically. Of course, I already mentioned it, uh, studying abroad is not just about the pure content of the program, it's about living abroad, having the full intercultural um, experiences. So we really uh, do have a lot of leisure activities and intercultural events at our university. Um, we do organize exchange with former and current students to kind of to get to know what the other students are doing. We help in finding internships and career counseling. We are really happy and also proud that some of our students um, or a lot of our students, former students, get really great jobs. I'll just talk to students who signed a contract with Deloitte. Mm, so, and we also know from, from students who then go to this house mm, and started uh, like a job at, for example, BMW. So basically, uh, we do. Yeah, we're really happy that some, that the students do to get good chances afterwards. Um, we're really small, so the campus setting is really familiar. Like you can just always um, come to us to the administrative stuff. Also, the professors do have a really good open door policy, um, and which we really appreciate. We see that uh, since it's small groups, the the students are really becoming friends. They grow together and they make uh, the best study experiences together. This is already my last slide. Um, here you see um, our team. This is me. I'm working mostly related to international students relations. My colleague uh, Ramona is um, responsible for your application. And my colleague Lorene is responsible for marketing. You see here our email address. We're really happy to answer all your questions. You can also give us a call. And then uh, yeah, we can talk more detailed about everything.